What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mini F-14 jet uh, in playing crazy with fully movable or functionable wings, as well as missiles and uh, obviously a gun. Um, yeah, let's let's get into it. All right. So first off, we're going to get a helium block and place our helium block down, pretty much for the nose of our plane. All right. Then we're going to get a wedge and get a pyramid wedge and make it so that the point of the wedge is facing forwards. All right. So we're going to put that pyramid wedge down there. Then we're going to get three disconnectors, all right, and place them as, you know, as so, all right, so that they're on the rim or the outside of our cockpit or where that would be. And we're going to set those disconnectors to disconnect at the W key. So basically, when you start the engine, all right, all of these will disconnect and they'll leave you with a nice flat, all right, uh, cockpit, I guess you could say. All right, then we're going to go into wedges and grab a half wedge. So we're going to half blocks, grab a half wedge and place it like so, alright, so it's on that back half of the helium block. Then we're going to go to wedges and get another half wedge, but this time from the actual wedges, so that it looks like this. Place it so that it lines up with that uh, smaller wedge block, alright. Then we're going to get our main pilot seat, and actually before we do that, we're going to go to PvP weapons and get a gun and place it right there in the little nose of the cockpit, alright. Then we're going to get our main pilot seat. I've already placed it, but if I delete it from this plane and put it back in here, as you can see, right there. All right, and then we're going to get a half wedge from the wedges, uh, like so. And then followed by a half wedge down one by two, all right? And that's pretty much our cockpit done. Um, you know, moving on, we have these trap doors that are situated uh, along the side of the cockpit. And make sure to have the black dot of the trap door facing upwards so that it grips onto the the disconnectors down there and set the trap door to open and close on like a key that you'll never press um, just so that they never they never open or close when you're flying because you don't really want that to happen we're gonna put a block behind the main pilot seat and then move our build up one block all right so that we can access the bottom of the build uh, and then we're gonna place a disconnector underneath that gun that we placed earlier all right and set it to the disconnect on the W key followed by another disconnector one block behind that so there's a gap and then another disconnector behind that, and they're both set to the W key. Uh, and then moving on, we're gonna get a small landing gear, or a tiny landing gear, should I say. And um, we're just gonna place that like so, and you can leave these controls um, as default, all right? Uh, moving on, we're gonna get a, go to wedges and get a, or go to half blocks and get a half block wedge, I believe, like so. Um, we're gonna actually orientate that so that the wedge is facing kind of forwards, I guess. And we're going to place that like so on this side. And then the same thing on the other side. So you're going to have to rotate that a bit um, to find the correct like rotation for that. All right, and then in the gap in the middle here, we're going to place a super rocket engine for our propulsion. You can leave these controls as is because we're not really going to change much there. Then we're going to go to wedges and just get a regular wedge like so and actually place it behind these half block wedges like so. All right, so that they're there's kind of like a gap next to the end of that super rocket engine uh, and then we're going to go to motors and get a motor 2 all right and make sure with this motor 2 that the cylinder is facing or the yellow cylinder is facing forwards with the darker part facing upwards all right we're going to place two of those just like so um and then the controls for the left one should be uh this this all right so forward set to q backwards set to a key that you'll never press and then speed one max torque 30 and then you're going to click set to servo like so and set the max angle to 40 degrees with toggle set to true and then you can just put the same thing on the right side except with q set to backward and a key that you won't press set to forward all right and then following that we're going to get a regular wing panel just like this and place it on the edge of each motor so that we actually have our wings next we're going to get delta wing one by twos to create the outline of our wings all right 
and place them like so, so that they're in a nice line, as you can see here. Same thing on the other side, all right, just delta wing one by twos, um, like that. And then we've got our wings, pretty much, followed by just a regular wing panel, one by three, like this, and like this. And then some control surfaces on the back of our wing, all right, so two one by two control surfaces like this with a delta wing one by one um, following that so you have this kind of nice wing shape going on here um, after that we're gonna move on to kind of the the fuselage of our plane alright we're gonna get some trap doors um, down in the kind of light bulb section alright and make sure the black dot is facing outwards and we're gonna set that preset that so there's actually a little preset button in the top left or middle left of your screen right above the materials we're gonna set that to a key that you won't press alright if you can't or can't figure that out just don't worry about it and you can set them after you place them but we're gonna place four trap doors like this on each side and then we're gonna rotate around so it's on the block underneath and place one after that with the on the block underneath alright should look something like this as you can see four trap doors on the top block and then one underneath but make sure that they're close enough together that they look, you know, similar. Um, make sure that the black dots are faced outwards so that they grip onto stuff. And make sure each one of those is set to a key that you'll never press for open and close. So they don't open when you're actually flying your plane, alright? Um, and then after that, you're going to go to the disconnectors. Grab a disconnector and place some disconnectors like this so that... Not like that. But like this so that they um, are, in, are in line pretty much with our trap doors. And set those to disconnect on the W key, like that. Uh, following that, we're going to get some wing panels, and we're going to go delta wing one by ones. Alright, and as you can see, just place them like this. And then place another one of those, like so. And so there should be two delta wings on each side. And after that, we're going to fill that in with a wing panel one by one. And then a delta wing one by two upwards, so that we get this nice wing shape, alright? Remember, two delta wing one by ones. A wing panel one by one and a delta wing one by two on the ends to kind of create this nice wing shape uh, followed by rocket engines all right these are just regular rocket engines also pretty much primarily used for the propulsion of our plane all right uh, and for some reason I've deleted a trapdoor that should be sitting under here uh, so just place that back um, and yeah that's pretty much the propulsion of our plane done now if we move on to the wings on the back of our plane, we have delta wing one by ones, uh, like so, uh, with a gap for a control surface in between them. So if you place them like this, and then actually leave the gap in the middle, you can place a control surface in there to help you know move your plane better in flight. We're going to place a block right here in between these two trap doors, and then just like that. And then after that, a cutter from the PvP weapons, a cutter. Alright, this is just for looks, this doesn't actually do anything. And then after that, a control surface one by one, just so that we can move our plane a little better when we're actually flying it, alright? But then after that, we're going to move our plane up two blocks so you can actually get underneath it. And what you're going to do is you're going to place a wing panel one by three, I believe, underneath your plane like that, so you kind of have a, a nice line through the middle of your plane. And then after that, you're going to go to the half blocks and grab a half wedge down one by two. Uh, and just place it like this on each side of the rocket engines. Uh, and then following that, you're going to get a tiny landing gear. All right. And you're going to place that like so. Actually backwards facing because that's how it is in the real F-14. Obviously, it doesn't matter too much. It's just a small detail. Then after placing those landing gears, you're going to get a PvP weapon and get a rocket. All right. And just place those rockets next to those landing gears like so um and yeah that's pretty much the plane i think finished uh now we need to move on to painting the actual plane uh, and then obviously i'll show you how to fly it and what controls do what um, all right so the main color for our uh f14 here is going to be this gray color on our color palette all right just like that like so then get the fill tool and just fill the whole thing all right like this so you just have one solid gray color all right, now moving on to the cockpit, obviously we go to materials, materials, and glass material. And we just kind of fill the cockpit in, um, you know, whatever seems reasonable is probably getting filled, all right? That's pretty much the cockpit there. Uh, and then we're going to fill that with the color 30, 30, 30, all right, just like so. 
we're just gonna fill that in so it's a kind of a nice black pretty much um then we're gonna move on to the uh the thrusters or the uh rocket engine in the back of our f14 all right we're gonna go 50 50 50 but again these colors don't matter too much that's just kind of my personal opinion and we're gonna paint those like so um as well as the missile tips which i'll paint black like if you want to paint the actual um i guess you could say uh horizontal stabilizers black uh as well as kind of these last wing tips here so you just got kept like this nice paint job going you could choose to paint these last things uh yellow so you kind of have that like jolly i think it's called jolly rogers paint job uh, and then also you can paint the landing gear a nice black color just to give it a bit more realism obviously none of this is really necessary it's just kind of what i choose to do uh, and then you can start the plane and once you hit w again the actual thrusters will start uh, and the everything should disconnect from the plane. All right, and then you can hold down W to accelerate and then angle your mouse upwards like so, and you should have a nice takeoff there. Now the controls for the weapons are as follows, all right? So if you hit F, you will actually fire your missiles, just like so, uh, and if you click, obviously you will shoot your guns, as well as hitting Q, which will allow you to bring your wings in and go to for a wing sweep mode which looks pretty much like this. I, I really like the way this uh, this plane looks, you know, in general with the wing sweep mode. Um, you know, and then you can hit Q once again to revert to your original mode, just like that. You can actually kind of flap the wings a bit. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. You know, if you did enjoy, just leave a like, subscribe, you know, whatever. And I'll see you later, so yeah.